Hey, it's Fern here, and this week I am looking back on some of my favorite memories about being a dog trainer for the past nine years. So we've seen a lot of them. Uh, I've talked about all kinds of different cool dogs and people I've worked with and how uh, I was able to kind of help them get over some of their obstacles and maybe just some lessons that I learned along the way or just some funny stories. Uh, so I've had a lot of fun kind of reliving these things and I hope you've enjoyed it too. Today I've got my final one and it is uh, one of my favorites, not because it was anything special um, or anything unusual, but because it was so typical of what I see on a daily basis. So I get a call from a uh, older couple um, who I believe are in their late 60s, who got a puppy, okay? Which, if they talked to me before they got their dog, I would never have recommended a puppy for them at their stage of life with their lifestyle. But they got a five, they have a five month old puppy now, and not only did they get a puppy, but they got a hound, like a fox hound mix. Which hounds, if you know, <laughs> they are not, they are challenging, okay? They are not the most easiest dogs. So it's a very challenging, time consuming dog to work with. So, and they were at their wits end, and I was their last resort before they were gonna give their puppy up. So uh, they immediately booked like five sessions with me, and I did the first one, and I gave them a whole bunch of things. I could see a lot of holes in what they were doing, and so the dog is just a regular, typical hound puppy. So it just requires a lot of exercise, a lot of stimulation, a lot of training, a lot of work. And unfortunately, their lifestyle is they're retired. They're you know they're relaxing. They don't uh, they don't they can't give the exercise that this dog needs. So in about the second session, I realized I'm doing the same session over and over again. The same you know by the second session, I'm doing the same things. They just can't give this dog what it needs. So immediately I changed my kind of treatment plan to just all exercise and stimulation because that's like the biggest chunk of the problem. And you know, no matter what problem people call me for, I always throw more exercise in there because if you just get the dog tired, everything improves because they don't have the energy to be destructive. And this guy was causing all kinds of mischief. He was barking, he was howling, he was stealing stuff, he was chewing stuff. So we just focused on coming up with exercise that they could do. And in their case, the obvious choice was dog daycare because they are not gonna go for runs, they are not gonna go biking with them, you know, they are not going to do long hours of training and stuff, and this puppy wasn't gonna to tolerate that anyway. So we just focused, okay, let's let's try dog daycare. So we ha I had him funnel the money that instead of paying me into the dog daycare, and it was like magic. Immediately, their dog came home tired, was better behaved, they enjoyed him more. So dog daycare, soon became a necessity. They also had this beautiful yard. So they started doing play dates of having people over that he could run around with. And as long as he had an outlet, he was a good boy. And they were able to live happily ever after. But this is such a common problem is people don't research what the right dog would be for them. They make maybe an impulse buy or an emotional decision. And they don't understand what the particular breed or the age of the dog is gonna require of them. And then they get, they get the dog and then they get a lot of trouble. That's why one out of four dogs is given up before they're a year old. It's a big number. Okay, so it just showed me that if we just, so they, they got the wrong dog for them, okay, but then what can we do? Can we just drain this dog of its energy, give it the outlet it needs, then it will live happily in their world. And that was the case. And that's the case many times over. If you have a dog, if you just constructively occupy its energy, it will not look for destructive outlets. Um, so it was cool because if they were able to do that, I mean, it meant less money for me because they just put it in dog daycare. They didn't need me as much at that point, but I still follow, through, I still follow up with them and they, they've hired me a number of times before to work on some things. But the big, the big impact for them was just draining that dog's energy, giving it the outlet that it needs. All right, there you have it. That concludes my seven day, you know, video series of all of the cool things that have happened to me as a dog trainer. That's just the little bits and pieces. I just gave you seven. There's tons of, you know, when I look back, I just can think of so many wonderful people and dogs and interesting uh, cases and stuff that I've encountered. And that's what I love about my job is that it's different every day. I get to pick and choose who I work with and it's very exciting. And it's just so rewarding to be of service to others, both people and dogs. I can't express to you how it gets me charged up every day to do that, to help other people and dogs 
live a better life. It's awesome. So I would love for you to have that feeling to get up on Monday and love to go to work. Uh, if you love dogs and you think dog training might be a career path for you, I would love to help you get there. The Fern Dog Trainer Academy is open right now, but the doors are closing very soon. I only keep enrollment open for a very short period of time. I want to get people in there. I don't want to work with thousands of people. I just want to work with a handful of people so I can help them as best I can get undivided individual attention. This is not a big corporation. This is me. So I am giving everybody my personal attention so that I can help you guys succeed as a dog trainer. And that's what I've put into this program is all the things that will help you be successful. Not only the dog knowledge, but also the business side of things as well. I'm really proud of it. And uh, we have such a great group of students all over the world. There's, I think I counted uh, like five continents, all different countries, like you know, Australia, Spain, Africa, everywhere. It's just so cool, the community of students that we have here and all across the United States and Canada. It's a, it's a really fun, supportive group. So uh, I'm just so happy to be, uh, be able to work with you guys and help you make your dreams of having a job you love come true. So I'd love for you to join us. You know, you can find the link somewhere around this video to uh, get the details and enroll. But just remember, we're going to close the doors very soon. Uh, so don't don't delay. All right. Thank you so much for being with me on my journey these last couple days of experiencing what, it, what it's been like on this crazy ride as a dog trainer. I look forward to seeing you again real soon. Have a great rest of the day. Take care.